Successful survival involves four basic principles. Protection, rescue, water, and food. Your first priority is shelter. Sometimes you just need a place to rest up, to keep you out of the elements. My knee is just a load of green foliage, just to cover all of this framework. And then in about 20 minutes, I've made a you know, pretty good emergency shelter. Next on my list of priorities is fire, and securing it can be tough. What I'm doing now is making a bow. It takes a little perseverance, but once you've mastered it, it's as good as having a box of matches. Bit of smoke starting. Need enough of that to make an ember to then drop into the tin. There we go. Okay, then the ember on a tip, carefully into the tinder, and then just nurture it. There we go, we've got flame. In the hunt for water, resourcefulness and improvisation are key. I can use a bit of charcoal from my fire to make a basic water filter. What it will do is make any toxins or chemicals bind to the charcoal. And then by putting grass in the end, that's going to take out any bigger stuff like sand or grit. And then just over the top of it, put a bit of my T-shirt. OK, it's good to try. Well, it tastes clean. Maybe a bit sweaty for my T-shirt, but good to drink and safe. Every environment presents its own set of dangers. In order to survive in the wild, you need energy. <sighs> and that means food. And you see all of the blood coming out of its jugular there. And that really, in an emergency survival situation, is food and life. And really fresh blood like that is so rich in minerals, vitamins, energy, everything you need to survive. And so many nomads and tribes all around the world will drink the fresh blood from their animals as a source of energy and survival food. The next priority is to maximize your chance of rescue. Fill this up then with a little bit of water. Now to prepare the wire. And I really want to rub it like this in my hair. And the idea of this is it magnetizes a bit of wire. And then when I put it in, it'll swing around and point towards the magnetic north, giving me that north-south line. And that should be enough. And then what I do is put the leaf in and drop that on top. And yeah, look at that. There you go. She's beginning to swing around. Freely suspended metal that's been magnetized will always point to the magnetic north. There you go. And that's now come steady. And that's given me a good, reliable north-south line. Now, I know the sun rose somewhere over there because I didn't see it. So that's east. So west is somewhere over there. And this north-south line means I'm definitely heading in the right direction on my westward track. So I'm going to keep this little bit of wire, get rid of the leaf, drink the water, and then I'm out of here. Without the right knowledge, living in the wilds can be a real challenge. 